Hey everyone, welcome back to Valheim. So, uh, I've done a lot. You, you'll notice that we actually have kind of a different outfit going on. I've done a fair bit of grinding off screen and I did build us kind of a new little house. Well, not so much a little house, but here we go. We have a new base set up. So while I was building it, just using all of the generic stuff. I noticed this little chopping block with an axe that you can build right in this uh, crafting section right here, right here. And it uh, apparently adds to the uh, level of your workbench, which I had forgotten about. And in doing so, it gave us access to some leather armor. So we're currently rocking a uh, leather pants shirt and a deer hide cape for that extra damage reduction so i'll take you guys a little tour here so this is the little homestead that i've built for us got some uh chests here to sort through everything a little bit and we got a double bed here and a nice little balcony out front i haven't decided on everything yet and uh yeah so we did all this and i'm gonna quickly repair what we can so yeah, did all that, and I also started rock, I built us a tower shield. I was noticing, like, I, I decided to try it out, and it seems to be doing a fair bit better. The biggest hurdle right now that I think we're getting into is we need to craft ourselves this. I think this is going to bring us up to a level 3 workbench. Which, uh, another thing about the workbench is that you can upgrade your gear. So I upgraded our pickaxe and, like, everything we can. But we need the workbench to upgrade one more time in order to get further. And I think that is going to be how we're going to be able to explore those burial chambers. One more kind of thing that I ended up doing was I looked it up to see if there's, like, a better way to get the leather scraps. Because, let me tell you, harvesting boars was not, or hunting them, was not going well. So they said if you put a pen up and then you lure one in, that it will start taming them. Uh, I have no idea if this is working. I think this boar has literally been in this pen for over three days. And, uh, oh, there we go, 15%. There we go, it's working. It's, they did say it's an incredibly slow process, so you can tame them up breed them and then you could like harvest them that way but this is looking like it's gonna take a very long time so i decided to keep hunting and guess what everyone i did it after i think we're on day 16 now so i think we're like 10 days into this we have finally got gathered enough scrap to build the um tanning rack here so what else do we need we need flint and we need wood wood the easiest thing to gather so there we go this is our tanning rack i'm gonna put it out on uh on our balcony here oh i guess uh i guess maybe not does it have to be inside I oh, know. Can put it kind of like out here, apparently. Alright, well, we'll put the tanning rack out there. So, there we have it, everyone. That should give us. There you go. Workbench level 3. So, we unlocked a bone tower shield, it looks like. And, uh, yeah, we got the leathers, the tunes, we got some fire arrows, flint arrows. I still haven't crafted a bow or anything like that. And there it is, the bone tower shield. Oh, we need skeleton trophies for that. This is looking pretty intense. The blocking is a fair bit better than the wooden one. I'm looking at this, uh, block force here. So this has like a 20 rating, this is a 100. The Bone Tower Shield is also 100, so I, I wonder if Force is how much it tries to negate. Not 100% sure, but uh, I did notice that we were able to block a lot more damage. So we have that going for us, and I do believe that we can upgrade... Um, see that? We need leather scraps just to upgrade our Flint Axe. 
But to look, it looks like to upgrade everything, we'll need more stone, more leather scraps, and all that fun stuff. So now that we have better equipment, I figure we can give another shot to these burial chambers again, now that we can actually block a little bit. All right, everyone, we're here. We're at our bear hill chamber. We're equipping our tower shield. We're all armored up. We're good to go. Um, you know, I really should just leave some of this stuff at base in case we do die. But this is the burial chamber that is closest to our home. So let's uh, let's get in here and see if we can actually actually kill, s get through it, and find because we really need to craft a forge. That is just an absolute necessity. Oh, look, we got a level one skeleton. Let's see if we can get him to come on out. did take a little bit of damage there but there we go the shield definitely is a huge help it it looks like we can take more more of the hits like those arrows don't completely drain us like they did before so that's super beneficial About exploring the rest of this. Oh, what is that? Okay, I have a feeling that those piles that we're gonna eat some more meat here to get our health back up. Meat is really good for health. Oh, look at that. That's three of them chest here. We'll take all of that. Oh, I can hear something. Yeah, I think that because there's another burial chamber up there. I don't know if you guys remember from the last video, but there was like glowing red stuff. And I have a feeling that might spawn in some of these enemies. Yo, look at that. And we're doing so much more damage now because of all the leveling up and the better weapons. So everything is starting to work out. This game is quite the quite the grind. I can't believe the uh oh we've got guys. Yeah, you can see our axe skills up to 27, but the skill difference, like we we took on that first boss really quickly and we were we actually handled it relatively well. And now all of a sudden it's just just some enemies in just a newer area and uh, very different, but they also attack differently than what we were used to. There's more tech. Oh, that was close. That was close. There's definitely more technique to fighting now. Like, there. See, like that. And then being able to actually block is a huge help. But avoiding it is even better. Looks like we've got another skeleton and he's got a bow. Let's see if we can drag him out. The one star usually means that they're stronger. I'm getting nervous that a skeleton's gonna pop up behind us. Oh, deked. There we go, got him. Oh, we got another bone pile over here. We better go destroy that. Yeah, it's spawning in skeletons. Ah. 
unfortunately, it's spawning them in too fast. Oh, no, we're starting to eat bad damage. We're starting to eat some serious damage here. Oh, no, I really want you to go away, please. get in there and take out this bone pile quickly oh he's not paying attention oh yes we got it thank goodness hey there I got a little greedy with it if you can get hit the skeleton three times they they tend to they tend to stagger and then your stagger gives you better damage so here we go please no more skeletons it would wonder if four of those Cores is going to be all we're going to get out of these guys. But, I mean, relatively... Ah, oh, there we go. Awesome. Rubies. We got coins. And a fifth one. A sixth one. And register locations. So this is a new elder we're going to have to take on. Perfect. All right. There's so much noise going on. So I think we've got enough for at least the smelter now, which is very exciting. I can still hear stuff. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be at least one more group of enemies. I'm kinda hoping you'll come out and play with me, man. And then when you get the stagger, you actually do increase. Oh my goodness, another one. There we go, look at that. More rubies, nice. Oh, and another one, awesome. Skeletal remains, oh, yeah. Well, there we go, everyone. I think that is, oh no, we got one more door over here. And these burial chambers are kind of creepy. And by kinda, I mean extremely. Okay, well, I think... That is everything, you guys. Awesome! I think that's our first successful burial chamber. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to be leaving here triumphantly. <sighs> there we go. You feel cold. I know I feel cold. So, there you have it, everyone. And now it's... Time, so we've got nastier enemies out and about. I actually ran into a new type of enemy that we haven't run into yet. Uh, these guys, but the shaman form. Oh, just blocked that. 
This... Oh, you would throw a little rock at me, wouldn't you? This shield's block is pretty awesome because it actually knocks them back a little bit and staggers them almost in a way. It's almost like parry. At least these guys anyways. Not so much the skeletons, but those guys. So, all right, let us get back to our home. Yeah, you can see, I think, that yellow stuff going over the boar there. That's him getting tamed. So, there we have it, everyone. We are officially... Officially ready, I think, to build our forge. So, smelter, we do need another five for the charcoal... Nin. So I don't know which one we should focus on first. I kind of feel the smelter. So we're going to need some stone. Which actually reminds me, we also need to craft ourselves a new pickaxe. Because we don't actually have any copper or anything anymore. <laughs> so let's grab our pile of stone. And let's go see about building ourselves a smelter. I wonder if I'll have to build it inside or if I should build it outside. I would like to build it outside myself, but if it's going to make me... Man, where's the entrance? This is kind of the entrance, eh? Man, where am I going to put this thing? Can we put it right here? Kinda? Will that help? Let's put it there. Uh, I don't mind that. Oh, hey, Hugh. All right. Deposit your raw ore in this furnace and it will melt away all impurities, leaving you with a bar of refined work at the forge. You will need coal to fuel the smelter. This will be produced by building a kiln. Oh, okay, so we actually need the kiln anyways. We can't get away with just this. So we, unfortunately, we need four more. So at least now we have a victory under our belt. And uh, we should be able to go and adventure into a burial chamber with some ease. So for now, I do want to build us a new antler pickaxe. So we need wood. All right, there you have it, everyone. We just finished building our new pickaxe. And in case you didn't notice, we did just advance to day 18. Oh my goodness, 18 in-game days. And if you look, you can see we've got quite a few deaths going on here from uh, my excursions out into the world. This one sucked the most. This is where I ran into the shaman. I was checking out some kind of new areas. So yeah, so now we just we have to do another burial chamber, obviously, to smelt. But we also need to actually collect the ores and stuff in order to do it so we're gonna head back out this way and make our way maybe to one of the next burial chambers what was that that was a lot of extra noise ah what a beautiful day day 18 ready to go get it so i mean we could probably just keep grinding out this burial chamber if we wanted to. But I don't really want to do that. I'm really not fond of fighting these things. I just don't like how they move. They like to circle and run around and then come in for an attack. I am not a big fan of them. They they drive me a little batty. Oh dear. Don't worry. We got quite a bit of meat. The only thing we're really interested in right now is boar. Because we need those leather scraps. Unfortunately. I wish you could even just take leather and turn it into scraps that would be that'd be a nice feature a nice put him in a crit zone all right we gotta try and find ourselves some tin and copper ah there we go officially found our first order of tin. So here we go. All 
Oh, there's a fair bit of tin over here. I can see another deposit just up the way. I haven't actually moved very much in the past couple. All right, so we got quite a bit of tin now, I think. Yeah, we got 14 pieces. I would very much like to now go after some copper is kind of what I want. And, oh, look, a little village. Oh, I see a boar over there. Perfect. Been looking for another one of you. Perfect. I really wish I could remember where that copper was from before. I have been looking in my travels, and I don't even think I've come across another actual copper deposit like that. So I'm a little nervous about actually trying to find it again. Alright, so unfortunately our flint axe broke, so I had to quickly craft up a stone one. And I saw a boar over here. There he is. Don't you run away from me. He knows. He knows I'm coming. Unfortunately, it doesn't do as much damage as our flint one, but it will have to do. Oh! I think I have finally found our big copper deposit, everyone. Here she is. So now we're just gonna... Oh, that's not the button we're looking for. This is the button we're looking for. Now we just have to harvest it up and hope we don't get attacked a whole bunch like we did last time. So I'm gonna mine out what I can here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we get a whole lot of copper out of this giant deposit. It looks like most of it ends up being stone. Only I busted up, I think, five pieces now, and we've only gotten ourselves three copper ores. So, I'm gonna, I think, try to get basically all of this and straight back to, uh, straight back to our base, because we don't want to lose it like we did last time. All right, I do believe it is time to mosey on back. Our pickaxe is about to break. And uh, we've got, I don't know, eight, maybe ten pieces. I think we've got eight pieces of copper right now. So that's not too, too bad. And then we've got to repair our flint axe, repair everything again. And then we're going to have to hit another burial chamber to try and get that last. See, this looks like copper. So is this actually copper or not? Oh, it broke. We're not even going to find out. Because obviously the first one that does say copper deposit is skeleton. I love how they're not as terrifying anymore. Sign of progress. There we go. But yeah, the first one did say copper deposit, but I haven't really seen any other ones that say copper deposit other than the one we found. Oh, are you going to get away from me? No, you're not. All right, everyone. So we're all repaired up. We're ready for another adventure. And uh, yeah, there we go built ourselves uh, the smelter. We can now officially start harvesting copper and the forest is moving. What does that mean? What is, what does that mean? What is going on? Oh, we're getting attacked. What is, what is happening? Oh, it's a shaman in the middle of the day? Oh, this is when I kind of wish we had a boat. 
not gonna lie, you guys. Not gonna lie. We need to move a little faster. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. What is going on? What is going on? Oh, and I'm out of stamina. We need to serpentine. Serpentine, everyone. Serpentine. Oh my goodness. Stupid rock throwing butts. That hurt a lot. That is not what you want to see. Oh my goodness. Yeah, sorry, I can't talk to you, Hugh. We've got we've got a problem. We have to try and lead these guys away from us. So, oh, you would keep hitting me with your rocks. We gotta try and lead these guys away. So that way, <laughs> when we inevitably die at this point, they will leave us alone. Oh my goodness! Like, what just happened? Oh, it's a big guy. Oh, and he hurts so much, and he swings so fast. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of running here, you guys. A lot of running. I don't know what's going on. This is uh, some seven days to die kind of vibes. Like, every seven days, you get attacked by a huge group, and that's kind of exactly what's going on here. Okay, that's one. Oh, we need to run, we need to run, we need to run, we need to run. Okay, I think, uh, I think I'm putting up walls. I'm putting up walls once we're done here, everyone. Oh, man, what are you doing? Oh, I want the big one to go away. I'll take on the little ones quietly. And we need more health. I really wish the forest resets again. What does that mean? They finally gonna start leaving me alone then? You have so long and then maybe if you can just stay alive, they'll leave you alone? I don't know yet. We're coming into night, unfortunately. So there's not much we can do about that. Oh, we need a bow. We need a bow. I've decided we're getting a bow as soon as we can. We can't keep doing this. I'm getting tired of getting hit with rocks, too. At least they don't do a whole lot of damage. They're mostly just annoying, if anything. I don't know how to fight the shaman, though, because of the poison. You feel cold. Thanks. I do feel cold. Thank you for noticing. That's kind of, I think, the issue with the tower shield is you can't move very fast with it. So, I don't know. I really, really hate your rocks, you guys. Like, with a passion. Ooh, that was, that was too close. We ran out of stamina. Bad time. Bad time. Sorry, I cannot talk to you, Hugh. There is way too much going on right now. I was trying to see if we could outrun them. It doesn't really look like we have the capability of it. Oh, okay, so we can at least block a little bit. to move. Thank you. I need health potions, is what I need. Is health potion... I'm getting tired of getting hit with these little rocks, man. That is driving me bonkers. I hate that they throw them. It's annoying. Like, look at this! And it's, it's chip damage is what it is. There's the shaman way over there. Oh, ho, 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 surviving by nine health. Surviving by nine health. That is not good. 
That's a couple rocks and we're down. Good news is I think I've dwindled them down a little bit. I noticed the shaman isn't really around anymore, which is good. I guess I got the shaman to despawn by getting away, but this big guy's fast. He's always on top of me. Yeah, he's like leading the pack right now, which is mega unfortunate for me. Oh, he hit me? He's got wicked range. Okay. This I think I can deal with. Okay. I've got a fair bit of stamina back now. So let's see if we can... We can do something here. We need more. There it is, you guys. All that... All that running around, all that dodging, just to die in one hit. Well, a couple over time, obviously, but oh my god. I hate that thing. Oh, I'm angry. Grr. Oh my goodness, there are so many of you still here. Why are there so many of you in my base? All right, let's see what Hugh has to say. All right, monsters will lay siege to your camp from time to time. Strength in the arms does not guarantee your victory in these situations. Build a strong defense to weather out the storm. Yeah, so they apparently just once in a while, I guess. I don't, I wonder what the, uh, the equation is. Is that every 18 days, I wonder? We'll know on day 36, I guess, but. Oh my goodness. Oh, it looks like looks like they're calling for a retreat looks like they broke some stuff a base looks okay more or less let's see inside here everything is still functioning my bore pen is still intact so yeah i think for the most part I think we survived that. So, boar's been tamed. Look at that. Oh my goodness. What a day. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Boar tame happy. I can pet him. Oh, hey, boar loves you. Oh, that's awesome. And we can rename him. You know what? Babe. Babe the pig. Yeah. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna get you a mate as soon as I can, I promise. Alright, well, there you guys go. What an episode. I mean, we managed to conquer our boreal chamber for the first time. A chamber for the first time. Our boar is tamed, and we got completely attacked by a bunch of graylings. We have to build defenses, so that is going to be, I think, the next big goal. Gather enough resources and start building up. Where are they here, right? I guess it's Misk. These here, stake walls is what we're gonna need around our base. I don't, I didn't see anything else. I mean, I guess we could put up just generic walls as well. So I might, might give that some thought, put some thought into it. So there you go. So in the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Oh my goodness. This is, uh, this is the most I've ever played because I've never actually seen some of this stuff before, so. Super cool. All right. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope to see you guys in the next one. And uh, peace out.